Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play with Aspo, which we are back with Denmark. The invasion of Ragusa is, uh, yeah, it's uh, making Utrecht leave our uh, coalition. <laughs> I guess they they realized that we are no threat. So yeah, it might this might actually make some people join it after this war. We'll see. Um, anyway. We will uh, look at this thing go. Uh, could be pro could be converting things. So Austria entered into that coalition. That's um, like I said, it's quite elastic. Some people join at minus 30, 34, others get minus forty seven and don't even care. Um, I guess it could have something to do with the uh, the most recent game that you got, uh, the size of it, uh, might actually affect the elasticity or something. It's uh, it's a mystery. And there we go, Burgundy. Speaking of, so Viborg changes to Protestant. Uh, well, that's fine. We can get in another idea, uh, siege ability which will come in handy right now and we can tech up but we shouldn't we should wait for uh, this idea here maybe I, sh I, I shouldn't really have switched from uh, my diplo focus that was uh, probably a bad idea so there we go we won the siege of Ragusa now we don't want to annex them because that would give us a terrible amount of uh, Overextension. We just want to take their fourteen hundred gold. To be, to be, uh, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, let's get that in our pockets. Get no aggressive expansion and go home. It was something to do while we waited. Uh, double the size of our uh, economy, and that's great. Get back home and. Yeah, eventually cancel those fleet basing rights there. Let's Im keep improving relations with France, by the way, because uh, we don't want to lose them as our ally when we got Burgundy and Austria in the coalition. And potentially England. Maybe I should try to get England into the coalition. That would be a good idea to... It would be a good way to provoke them. So, lost a general. That was probably our super general. Yeah, it was. Our 6-3 guy. Oh, well. 3-1. Well, it'll have to do. So. That Protestant, though. Fien. I really should stop saying, though. Because I watched this movie, I think, where someone said that. It was long ago. And... I was so annoyed by Oh, it's not it's not a movie. I think it's from Fargo or something. Um anyway, I was annoyed by it and apparently I speak that way now. So, yeah, that happened. That's also something I use I usually say. So, there we go. Troops back home. <laughs> no, I left it without my troops. <laughs> uh no. No. Oh. <laughs> cool. They were they were just just not home. Thank you. Sometimes I leave without my troops. I'll have to go back. That's um that's kind of annoying. <laughs> I guess you can understand why. Let's take a look at our army though. <laughs> Again. Let's take a, a look at our army now. 16 infantry, 1 knight, and 11 artillery. <laughs> artillery. Got an income of 13. Let's repay all our loans. So we can afford plenty more uh, cannons. And our combat width is potentially 25. So I would potentially want 25 cannons. That's 14 more, so that's gonna stretch it for our economy, to be honest. 
And with uh, 24 cannons, I'd need 24 frontline troops, at least. So we are just going to keep it even. Steven, I guess, get five more cannons. Uh, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. Should be... Yeah, we could be wasting monarch powers. Monarch power on buildings. But I don't know. Let's take a look at that. Uh, could build an embassy, I guess. No, I can't. I don't have the technology. I thought I did. So, yeah, prestige, sure. Let me look at this. Five guys. Oh, we don't actually have another cardinal on the way. So that's uh, something. So how far are we from third idea group, by the way? Four years. We have Patriots in Lincoln. We got this uh, cannon here that we need to cancel. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I pl there we go. And we need a leader as well. Can't walk into rebels without a leader. Thank you. I recall that diplomat. And get that can brewing again. Low tech. So we wait. Can switch from that, uh, map mode, coalition map mode. Now, so what else can we do? Uh, we don't really want to fight the the empire because Austria is already annoyed with us. So, yeah, I don't know, could go to Africa, I guess, if we wanted to, that's mostly Portugal and Castile, and that's uh, terribly expensive and annoying to core, so I'm not going to do that. Tyrone will finally marry me, so let's do that. Some more Protestantism, <laughs> sorry, uh, let's, uh, more Protestantism, oh, sweet. Let's see if someone else has, uh, well it's Frankfurt, the Hansa Utrecht, yeah, Frankfurt though, that would be nice wouldn't it, 1700 ducats, but Frankfurt is part of the empire, so that would be too expensive, army is the way to glory, obviously. So let's get trade steering and merchant steering towards inland. Thank you. Uh, we are almost at our naval maintenance modifier. So how's our naval tradition, by the way? We get one yearly. So we we rest 20 then, I guess. When you have one tradition. Alright. So that puts us at 77. So if we if we would flip, it would be 23 plus our uh, capital. So it's not really worth it. Uh, we need to be at least at 50%. Sorry, 50% unity and or less as Catholics before it's worth it. So I guess it's the admin power. Treaty flow power is such a slow gain. On the other hand, the admin power is 10 times as useful to me. But I'm already ahead of time, so actually I'm gonna lose that admin power. I will. So, Poland and Lithuania have eaten the Uh, the Teutonic Order. Base Logan. That's actually where I was born. Right there. Uh, around here somewhere, close to Dallas Guggen. I live here in Westeros. So, there you have it. Enough about me. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this game going. 
we are just waiting. At the moment, it feels like I, we are waiting. Naval maintenance modifier and land force limits, great. So our force limits are up to 58. You can feel quite a nice army now. We should be looking at our income here and well, plus 14. This uh, this calls for more cannons, to be honest. 16. So let's uh, let's bump this to 20. Uh, that's four, and let's bump it with four more infantry. Actually, I should have a surplus of infantry, so let's bump those to 24. Uh, because when they die, that will leave a hole, or uh, rather, will push my cannons forward. I think. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. So, Lithuania has... Oh, Lithuania is... Uh, actually independent. Poland lost them. The Union broke. It did break apart. And they were so close to the Commonwealth as well. Oh, hunting accident. <laughs> Our dear Frederick. Our six diplo guy that made us ditch our uh, national focus and diplo power. <sighs> yeah, by prestige. I don't care. Alright, so now we're 39 years old and we don't have an heir. So let's hope that this um, does not mean that us being in a union under France in any time soon. <laughs> that would be a disaster. Alright. What's the... What is the... 36. So I can't really stand there. 43. Let's stand in Essex instead. That's a better supply limit. So Tyrone is buttered up. How much buttered up? 200 buttered up. 196. Should be able to annex these soon. Uh, yeah, Wales is ready. So let's get that uh, relations up. This is uh, two years and that would mean Tyrone is something similar. Yeah. So we are ready to integrate Wales and Ireland. Soon. All uh, right, more Protestantism in Blekinge and oof, Fife. So it's spreading in England as well. Look at that glorious Protestantism. Oh well, it will give us plenty of cash eventually when we do flip. Speaking of cash, let's take a look at these this register here. Uh, the Hansa, too much trouble. I mean, it's worth going to war for 1,500 ducats when the uh, opposing side is a one province minor without allies and no troops. Uh, it's actually worth taking the two stability hit and the uh, 20 aggressive expansion as well, if you ask me. So, it's too expensive. It is too expensive. So we have this 44,000 army. Uh, Excuse me, 45,000 <sighs> troop army here. And should get one more there. We only had 23. We still have a plenty income. So I guess we could actually. Ooh, thank you. We got a free stability from the Pope. The Pope actually likes us, I guess. <laughs> Let's put those guys to avoid bleeding manpower. And let's take a look at that technology. Uh, it is not ahead of time, so we can just get our last, our last, our uh, new idea group. And the question here is, do we go for the exploration in order to chase down England? That would be, it would be something to do. I'll, uh, I'll give you that. Something to do while we wait for the English truce timers beating up the savages of North America. 
So, the alternative, I guess, is to just get expansion. But that is not really a good alternative, uh, I guess. Hmm. What to do? Let us uh, let us explore. Should we get naval ideas? Just because we are a naval nation, because our navy is such a, such an impressive thing. No, let's go with exploration. It will give us something to do in the meantime. Uh, eventually, since we lack big amounts of diplo power could be improving our advisors I guess uh, how much would a level 2 guy be here I would pay 5 more ducats so maybe I should actually do that to bump that diplo just a little bit let's get trade efficiency and bump our income as well by a tiny amount so our trade and production is fairly similar. Similar, it was even more similar uh, just a second ago. So what to pick from there? I don't know. What to focus on? Speed five is awesome. So I could form Scandinavia. I think I've heard that uh, Scandinavia doesn't change your tag in such a way that you can get the Danelaw achievement but I will not risk it so we will remove that for now we might form it later uh, before we form England and actually I think the the one night in Paris is dependent on England being your starting uh, nation but I'm not sure I'm never sure so tolerance of heretics well we have a lot of heretics so that will be a good idea to be honest so let's get that reduce our revolt risk by one in a lot of provinces uh, there we go there we go lost burgundy so now, now it's just Austria being a bitch being a female dog about it. So let's uh, hmm, improving Wales should be done with that. Uh, let us uh, 1519 September. So maybe I was a bit quick there. Well, oh look at that! I need to improve relations first. Uh, annex. And we are waiting for September. Let's see if I get there before I annex someone and lose 30. Yeah, we should be fine. Because we lack a lot of uh, diplo power. Well, not now, but we will soon. There we go. All three vassals are started, so now it doesn't matter if our relations drop below the required 190. And we finish offensive ideas. That's awesome. We get the forced march ability, which is uh, my favorite thing in this game. That's a lie, but it's great. This is the, the decisions. I can't speak, sorry. Uh, no, that's not gonna happen. So let's take a look at that. Asterbotten. Oh, that's this. Sorry. All right. Great mind man did die though. Uh, land force limits. No, morale of armies is the better one. So now we just wait for. Well, this is just silly. 1535, so it's 15 years. Losing some legitimacy, but we don't care. Um, prestige. 
I still want to kill Denmark over there. <laughs> I want to kill Denmark? I want to kill England. Oh, crap. This is not a good day to speak. So, interesting gameplay this, watching boats go by. Uh, well, I don't see the Diplo check going anywhere in five years. So we'll have to tighten our belts. Not losing stability over that. We have plenty of uh, Diplo ideas to get first. So what's this? Uh, Iconoclastic Fury. During the Reformation outbreaks of destruction of Catholic religious art. Oh, sorry. During the Reformation, outbreaks of destruction of Catholic religious art occurred in various European countries. Strange sentence. Uh, the most notorious example is uh, Beeldenstab in the Low Countries, but similar attacks occurred in Germany, Switzerland, England, Scotland, France, and Livonia. The majority of attacks were carried out by spontaneous mobs, but in some countries the government took a leading role. So we can get a lot of remote risk. 10 in each uh, Protestant province, I guess. Lose 50 military power and gain 10 prestige and make friends with the Pope. Or we can just do nothing, get less tax, less prestige and less military strength. Or we can actually side with them and get one conversion, uh, make the Pope hate us and lose one stability. I think I'm gonna go with uh, this one. I don't know. This one is not so bad. 10 tax modifier for 10 years, that's uh, not painful. But the free conversion here is uh, actually quite nice. But one stability, one stability is, uh, is expensive. With this religious unity, it's, yeah. I mean, going from zero to one now would cost us 114, 149, no, minus 5%, so 135 then, 136 points of admin power. So we, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Because we hate the Pope. And let's also do this, if I can. Uh, no, I can't. What's the requirement? Lower than minus 50. So they like me for some reason. Minus 40. <laughs> so if I send them an insult, there we go. I can actually uh, declare statute and restraint of appeals. Uh, and this will. Let's see. Decrease our revolt risk. Increase, decrease our stability cost modifier. Give us prestige. Well, Diplo rep minus one. That hurts though, so I'm not touching that, sadly. Diplo rep minus one. That's, that's evil. Ah, okay. We integrated Tyrone. So just Wales now. Got some guys in Savalax. Uh, yeah, nope. So, three armies over here. Uh, let's get our boats there, pick them up. Uh, might be a good idea. Did not get any navies. Will not get any here either, I guess. So, Lincoln. England breaking alliances. Who are you allied with? Just Austria. So I guess I could bait them into a war by attacking Austria or an HRE miner. Oh, thank you. Got, got an error. Average claim? Well, I don't care. This is going to end up being... Yeah, his, our king is not going to live to 59, right? So this is going to end up being, uh, sorry, a regency. That's the that's the word. Split these guys between those two. Uh, take a look at those those armies now. Uh, so we've got sixteen to ten, sixteen one ten. 
So that's 32, 320. Hmm. A nice army there. Should be enough to totally take care of the English. Should actually keep keep a guy over here, a guy or two, for when the war comes. Just so that I can s put them on me to siege that. Make sure they don't send troops from there, like they did last war. And yeah, let's take a look at that timer, by the way. Uh, 25 minutes. That timing. So, let us end this episode with uh, that integration there. And I'll say thank you for watching, as usual. I appreciate every view I get. Uh, this uh, Let's Play wouldn't be anything. If it wasn't for my viewers, it would be quite a waste of time sitting here talking to myself if I had no people listening to me. So I appreciate it. I appreciate you giving me your time. But that said, if you do like to listen to me talk, press that like button and subscribe to that channel. And uh, drop a line saying, I like to hear you talk about cats. It makes me sleep at night. And uh, I'll figure out something to to answer to that. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. So long.